tis the season to get shit. Love this time of year, right? It's Christmas and you know, all the other holidays, depending upon where you where you're from. Like New Year's is right around the corner. You just get stuff. Yes. I want this. Oh man, I want this. I want that. I want this. I want this for my twin. I want them to do this. I want that. Mm. So much getting. So much getting. What are you giving? Are you giving just to get? Right? Are you just giving something so that you receive something in return? And how do you apply this to, you know, being around the holidays and, you know, which can be uh, a little bit of a tough time, right, in, on this twin flame journey and giving to your twin or want what you want to get from your twin. You want them to call you, you want communication, you want them to like you know, show up at your door in a Santa outfit. You want all these things. Are you giving your love in hopes of getting something in return? Are you giving just to get? Right? So, give. You always get back what you give. It might not always be like, well, you know, I gave, I gave this person $1,000 and then they turned around and gave me $1,000. Right? You give because it feels good and it's joyous, right? You give your twin love because it feels really good to do that. And it doesn't matter what you get back in return. The give, you're receiving what you're giving. Giving and receiving are the same thing. It feels so good in my heart to give love right doesn't it feel so good in your heart to give love to your twin and it doesn't matter what you get back in return it might not be a phone call or it might not be uh, them showing up at your door or it might not be a present from them but you receive that love back from them you could feel it you can receive that love and it's not something that you have to, you know, block or, or feel like you've been let down because you didn't get the gift that you wanted. The gift that you need always comes back to you. Right? You, you give. And you always receive what you give and many times more than what you give, you receive back. It's not always in the way that you want it, but it's exactly in the way that you need it every time. Right? And this is something that you can apply to your life, not just on the holidays, but like across the board and in every facet of your life. Because that is unconditional love. What we're talking about is unconditional love. It's giving love. Giving love in a, in a variety of different ways. And not having any expectation of what you're going to receive back. Because it just feels so good to give that love. And it doesn't, you know, that doesn't have to be, um, doesn't have to look the same each time, right? Unconditional love can be a hug. Unconditional love can be uh, sending somebody a poem. But at the same time, unconditional love can be discipline because it's needed there. Because that's what is required. 
That is also unconditional love. Can be. So, use this holiday season to to give, give freely when it's appropriate for you and when it feels good. You know, you don't have to just give for for uh, the sake of it, just to just to be like, just to maybe score some brownie points with God or something like that. You know, that's, that's not going to work because you can't fool him if you haven't found that out already. So give when it feels good. Give when it's when it really feels appropriate for you too. And just give all of yourself. Whatever is whatever's being required in, in any particular uh, situation, just give. And watch what you receive. You know, take note of what you receive. But understand that you are receiving. And just because it's not what you thought you were going to receive doesn't mean that you are receiving exactly what you need back in return. Right? So, you know, this is this is a, a, the turning point of of the end of the year and focusing, uh, putting our focus on a new year and a new beginning. Just like each new day is a new year, a new day, right? New beginning. Um, so take advantage of this. You know, it's new beginning. Start off right. You know, really, really like. Um, give to yourself too. Give to yourself as well because that's super important, especially on this twin flame journey and just in life in general. Right? Give to yourself coaching. You know, visit visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, go down below to the description box for the links to coaching or my e-course. Give to yourself. And I'll see you all next time.